Hello everybody, I'm Bob and welcome back to a little bit more Internet Spaceships. Today we're going to look at one of the new features that was added in with the recent patches and iterations of the PTU and that was Persistence. I did a video a while back showing the sort of work in progress and how it was beginning to kick in and now it's out on the live client, we'll take a little bit of a closer look. The main premise is as such. Until now, if you've been playing the Star Citizen Alpha, whenever you logged out, or more often than not, because hey, it's the Alpha, your game crashed, or the server decided it was done for the day and closed down, after you restarted your game client and you joined the server again, you'd wake back up in bed that was most relevant to your activities, as if everything you'd done the day before was all a bad dream. Relevant, of course, meaning the main hub where you last landed a ship. So, Olisar, Grimhex, or Levski, if you crashed out, your ship will be missing, more often than not with the valuable cargo you purchase vanishing into the ether as well, and you'd have to reclaim it at one of the terminals with no money to your name anymore. Bugger. Now however, things have changed, mostly. CIG has added the first iteration of persistence into the game, so if you should leave the game for whatever reason, or for more often than not you crash out again, then you may be offered the chance to pick up where you left off. This normally comes in the form of a notification on the main menu when you restart the client, as you can see. Accepting this will attempt to load you back into the instance you were in before, and for the most part it works. There's a few bits and bobs that are problematic however, and we'll go through them now. On the PTU, this was a time allocated action, this meaning that you had 10 minutes to try and get back into the game. I'm not personally sure if this is the case now it's on live, but this mostly affected the scenario where you used your bed within your ship, because the server would clean your ship up if you weren't around anymore. Another is that sometimes it will glitch out entirely and you'll be left floating in the middle of the great dark void, stuck in a T-pose as you choke on your own bad breath. The only way to get out of that scenario, unfortunately, is to restart your game again and you'll respawn in bed as normal. The other caveat that I understand is that persistence is region locked, so if you go to bed on an Australian server, you can't wake up on an EU server. I could be wrong, if that's the case, feel free to correct me in the comments. That's the bad stuff, now for the good. When it works, and it does work more than you'd think, it means you pretty much respawn in the same spot where you left off. This includes the mechanic CIG introduced in the PTU, which is the aforementioned getting into bed on board your ship. You'll wake up again on board your ship. This is the mechanic that I think only lasts for 10 minutes or your ship will be cleaned up by the server when you're not around. Again, I could be wrong. One comment on the previous video I did about persistence asked about not logging out in your bed and logging out, or crashing as the case may be, in the pilot seat instead. I can happily say that if you get the recover last instance party invite and you load in, it can indeed chuck you straight back into your seat as you can see here. You'll load into the game in the same way you do in Arena Commander, where you just sort of plop down into your seat, the canopy closes and you're good to go again. I've had two instances of this happen to me, apart from the one where I filmed here, both from the occasions where the game crashed, once in my beloved space BMW, sorry my 85X, and once in my Saber Raven. It also works if you're just milling about somewhere, so you could be on a moon surface or maybe walking around one of the stations and you have a crash, sometimes you can just load back in and you'll be popped back into existence stood exactly where you were. One last thing to note before we finish off is a bug I've noticed when you do rejoin a server. You'll be able to sell cargo and stuff that you had in your ship, thank god, but if you try to use a ship retrieval console then it'll be blank as though you don't own anything, as you can see here. Don't worry, CIG hasn't nicked your ships as punishment for selling all your widow, but it is an annoyance. To fix this, you either have to rejoin another server, or you can use the key combo to, um, well, kill yourself. It's not perfect, but hey, it works. So, there we go. Persistence in a nutshell, at least the first iteration of it. It's obviously not quite there yet, and as ever there's more work to be done, but more often than not, if you do crash out when you were a freelancer full of cargo, it can actually save your bacon or your Widow, or your Hydrogen, or whatever your freelancer was moving at the time. And you don't end up frustrated and penniless and then uninstall the game waiting for the next major patch, as more often than not happens. As well as persistence, CIG's also been working on a buttload of crash and performance fixes for the playable universe, and these have really, really shone through, as performance in general is a lot better, and there's been a lot less crashes, at least from my perspective. There's still a fair bit of frame hitching and the servers don't like mesh collisions, like when ships bump into one another as you might have seen on the stream from the other weekend, 
but progress is progress, and it's not that long now until we've got 3.2 coming onto the PTU as well. It's nearly June, and I want my 600i! Thank you for watching guys, I hope this was informative, and of course I'll keep an eye on it to update you when things change, and when they make changes to persistence. If you're watching this video as it comes out on the 26th, Sync has another event this weekend which I'll be streaming and of course we'll do highlights for, links to those guys and the Discord are in the description, no doubt we'll be doing it with Citro again so you can always go and see it on his channel too, and I hope to see you there. Have fun!